All right, number two, we just want to solve the equation. So once you factor, like we did in problem one, um, this is a quadratic. So when we get to graphing, a quadratic equation looks like a parabola. It's a U-shape. Either goes, opens up, and we have two, two points where it crosses the x-axis, or it opens down, okay, depending on if it's positive or negative. When we set it equal to zero, we're trying to find out what are these numbers where it crosses the x-axis. And zero is like really an easy number to, to use. Adding zero, multiplying zero, um, it's really easy. So that's why we always set things equal to zero. So we're just trying to figure out where does it cross the x-axis. Where What are our intercepts, roots, solutions? And that's what this problem is asking. So we're going to do x minus 2. <clears throat> and then we're going to do 2x plus 9 and set that equal to 0. So in order for this expression to equal 0, um, notice that we're multiplying these two things. Either this expression has to equal 0 or this could equal 0. They both could equal 0 because 0 times 0 is 0. But all we need is 1. So we're going to try to find out what makes each of them 0 and that will give us our two answers. So the way we do that is we take the x minus 2 and set it equal to 0. And we do the same thing over here. We do 2x plus 9 and set that equal to 0. And we find out what makes each of them 0. So solving for x, we would have to add 2 to get rid of the minus 2. We do that to both sides of the equal sign. This goes to 0. We bring down our x bring down equals 0 plus 2 is 2. So one of our solutions is 2. If we plug a 2 here, 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 times, doesn't matter what this is, is going to be 0. 0 times any number is 0. Alright, with the second one we're going to subtract 9 from both sides. That goes to 0. Bring down your 2x bring down equals negative 9. And now we're going to divide by 2. Divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we just have our x here equals, and we will leave this in fraction form, negative 9 divided by 2. So our two solutions are positive 2 and negative 9 divided by 2. So you type integer or simplified fraction. It tells you how you want to enter it. And then use a comma to separate your answers. If you miss either one of those, it will count it incorrect. 2, comma, and then I'm going to do a division bar. Uh-oh. It's not doing it the way I want it to. 2, comma, space, division bar. There we go. And then negative 9 over 2. It doesn't really matter that you put the negative on top as long as it's on there. It could be on the top, the bottom, or out front. And most of the time, uh, I think you'll see text put it out front. Because, like this. So no matter if it's on the top or bottom, the whole fraction is going to be negative. 